Stories like these pop up quite often if you visit the subreddits of any of these low to no code tools. And that's because there's an inherent platform risk when you decide to host projects with these services. So while you love the low, no code visual approach to building interactive and animated websites like you might see like site of the day award winners, if you wanna host those projects, you wanna make them a reality that people can actually see, you're locked into their pricing model, which can change at any point in time. Now, some might say that's fine because I personally don't want to have to deal with DevOps and server management and all of that crap anyways. But what happens when these services arbitrarily raise prices or make some sort of change that results in the scenarios that I pointed out at the beginning of the video? It's either you need to code shit from scratch and enjoy the benefits of hosting wherever you want. You can use these visual builders to make the development experience great, but then you're locked into the hosting. Yes, you can export the code with these services, but the code is oftentimes incomplete without assets, and there's a ton of development work in order to get these projects to work when you export the code. So what are we left with? Is there an alternative solution? Well, in my research, the closest thing that I was able to find that has the potential to fix all those issues and address those issues is a tool called Web Studio. It's a visual builder that is open source, which is really freaking cool. And it addresses some of those main issues that I'm talking about. Now, the problem is they currently lack an animation system, a proper component system, and they have no built-in CMS support. Now, I spoke with the founder, Oleg, on Discord this morning, and they have big plans going forward to integrate features that I expect in a low-code tool, such as a robust interactive animation system, a solid component system, and more. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Have any of you been burned by the pricing models of some of these tools? Do you know of any potential up and comers that might be alternatives that address these issues? Let me know in the comments and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.